A South Australian company who normally packages, produces packaging for fast food will shift their production to masks. The company is called Debt Mould and they're expected to produce 145 million medical masks over the coming months. It comes after the government banned the export of personal protective equipment including face masks and gloves following tonnes and tonnes of equipment being shipped out of Australia mostly to China from as early as January this year. Minister for Industry, Science and Technology, Karen Andrews, joins me now via Skype. Minister, terrific to have you on the show. Thank you. I said at the top of the show, you're a rare science minister in that you have a science background. We just spoke to the professor in charge of the synchrotron uh, in Australia. I know Anthony Pratt, the leading businessman, put a million dollars on the table today for the Doherty Institute, which is looking at some drug trials, old HIV drugs. I think you'll tell me more. Mm -hmm. um, this is a real coming together of the science community, isn't it? Look, absolutely. We do have some outstanding scientists here in Australia. Uh, we were actually the, the first nation to be able to grow the coronavirus outside of uh, China. So we were leading the charge to look at a potential vaccine and, and of course, a cure. Uh, so, uh, you know, congratulations and a huge shout out to our science uh, community. They do fantastic work. Unfortunately, it's not always recognised as it, as it should. We do tend to take that that um, work happens um, and we take that a little bit for, for granted. But uh, they have done some outstanding work and they are working around the clock to come up with a vaccine. Right, last week, or maybe it was the week before, but in recent times, I've had uh, the CEO of a, of a Shepparton and country and country, Shepparton and Company mm -hmm. in country mm -hmm. Victoria on. They were the last mask manufacturer in Australia and you got the ADF, the military involved, the army, uh, to get there and help when we wanted to ramp up mask production and he didn't have the employers. Mm -hmm. uh, you stepped in there as minister. The, the announcement today also relates to masks and this relates to a business business that doesn't make masks mm. in South Australia. Tell me more. Yeah. Uh, well, I might just start, if it's OK, with you talking a little bit about Medcon in uh, Shepparton because it's a fantastic story there. Small uh, family-owned business, effectively. Maximum mask production was about $7 uh, million. Uh, we needed to ramp up production in Australia. They were our only manufacturer, so they needed support to be able to do that. So the ADF came in, provided people to uh, get a third line up and running. That third line is now running, provided people who were going to be able to run the machines around the, the clock. So production there has um, has doubled, and we're looking at production from them over a 12-month period of 57 million masks. So from 7 million to 57 million in a year is just outstanding. Uh, Debt Mould, as you said, is a packaging manufacturer based largely in South Australia, but also has operations around the globe. They actually put their hands up a couple of weeks ago, spoke to the South Australian government and also to the federal government about what they could do to ramp up production of masks here in Australia. So they are commissioning machines now in uh, China. They will be brought into Australia. We'll get them up and running uh, within the next couple of weeks. And uh, they're going to be producing about 145 million masks. 45 million will go to South Australia directly and 100 million masks will go into the national stockpile. So it's fantastic.